In this practical example, you will create a dynamic block from a table and chairs. The length of the table increases in this block as more chairs are added. Let's create it and analyze to see how this is possible. After opening the file with the block, double click it to enable it for editing. Begin by inserting the linear parameter in the block editor. Select these two points on the table. Now after all actions have been inserted in the block, you'll use this parameter. Let's start using the stretch action responsible for increasing the table length. After enabling this action, select the parameter and define a base point. Finally, define a box to include all elements which will be modified and select the entities. Be careful when selecting entities so no chair is selected. Next, insert the move action. This will make the chair at the head of the table move according to the table length. Enable this action, select the parameter and the base point for modifications. Finally, select the object to be moved. Array is the last action to be inserted. This action will be responsible for copying the chair based on the increase in table length. Let's enable the action and select the linear parameter. Then select these two chairs. Double click the right mouse button to confirm. Now specify the distance between each copy of the chair. Let's input 0 0.7371 for the value. This value was measured by adding the chair width plus the space between each chair. Now your block has been defined. Test the block to see if the actions have been correctly defined. Click Test Block to get into the block test interface. When you select the block, you'll see two grips. One refers to the base point and the other is for the linear parameter. Now click the parameter grip and when you move it, the table length increases. Notice how the chair at the head is moved and then new chairs are inserted in the block. This shows the block has been correctly defined. Now you will leave the test interface and save the changes in the block. So in this practical example, you've inserted three actions for the same parameter. Thanks to these actions, you are able to increase the length of the table, number of chairs and move the chair at the head of the table. You can apply this knowledge and create other models and sets. Use your creativity and let your imagination go wild.